Okay, Vitalin, welcome to the podcast. It's good to see you here today. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, let's start from your experience of studying English at school and how it was uh, different from the way you study English now. Um, I started uh, in fifth grade, so I uh, thought about it as usual subject. Uh, yes, I received it as usual subject. I was not very interested in it. Um, my teacher was quite good. Uh, she had uh, a very quiet, uh, nice voice, and I always wanted to sleep <laughs> at, at my lessons. And um, usually I... And uh, didn't uh, receive much from these uh, uh, lessons, but at the same time, uh, I have I have I have a sister, and uh, uh, she uh, always uh, uh, was uh, fond of uh, English. So, uh, in uh, our flat, uh, she put uh, uh, stickers all over the flat, uh, on bed, on tables, on the walls and uh, there uh, were English words, but it didn't help me. Uh, mm -hmm. it <laughs> I just uh, didn't notice it, <laughs> completely ignore, uh, ignored it. Uh, yeah. and, but, uh, this, um, but uh, my mom, in the ninth grade, my mom uh, said that I should go to private teacher, English private teacher, as my sister, and this very uh, important to know English nowadays. Uh, I agreed um, because I uh, wanted uh, to be not worse as my sister. Mm -hmm. So you wanted yeah. to compete with your sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I uh, didn't want to be better, but mm -hmm. not to be worse. Mm -hmm. So yes, I started visit it, uh, uh, visit my English speaker, private teacher. So it was ninth, ninth grade, right? Yeah, ninth. So I um, uh, was visiting it for about three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still eleven uh, grade. Yeah, and I even uh, passed exam mm, this uh, uh, for for institute. Mm -hmm. But uh, for my institute, I didn't need it. Uh, and so English. English. So I how many times did you practice with your private teacher like a, a week uh twice twice a week twice yeah. a week what yeah. what were you doing oh we usually do grammar grammar exercises mm -hmm. uh she explained me the rules uh, also we um discussed uh, idioms mm -hmm. uh and Did you speak in english or in russian or both in russian and english in these lessons uh usually in english mm -hmm. but <laughs> to say the truth i uh, didn't understand all what she uh, said mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i tried but uh, you know i am not i was not very interested in it and i just sit and uh, was hearing Pre pretend uh, that you study yes <laughs> pretend <laughs> that i am very interested in it but it was not true <laughs> uh, was there a big difference between studying at school and studying with your private teacher Or yes yes of course it was in school it was uh, mm, not very well um, done because uh, uh, you you know that uh, uh, in classroom we have uh, we had ten maybe more uh, pupils, pupils? Mm -hmm. yes and one teacher and she uh, of course she couldn't uh, uh, speak with uh, every everyone so and uh, there uh, there were programs some special programs so we need to um, to learn this uh, grammar rule to learn this. And yes, it's impossible um, for everyone to... So she, she must divide her attention on the whole group and can't focus on individual yeah, yes, pupils. It, yes, But it's with hard. private teacher, you just study, uh, like, you communicate and she... Uh, she It was she? Yeah, or? it, it uh -huh. was she. So she was completely focused on you and helped you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you... Could, could you speak after these lessons with private teacher? Have you learned to speak or it was just only grammar and tests and exams? Uh, no, uh, she uh, tried to make uh, me speaking, mm -hmm. uh, but 
I was very confused. I uh, said that no, 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 I, c I couldn't speak. Uh, and I tried to switch to Russian and I was very shy. Uh, but she, yes, she tried uh, to make it. Um, I think I, uh, I could, yes, after these uh, lessons uh, with the private teacher, I could speak English, but uh, a bit. A little bit. A okay. little bit. Uh, did you watch something that time? Maybe uh, some YouTube channels or some stuff on the internet? No, no. No, mm -mm, no I think no. no only TV shows, maybe English TV shows. No, or no, movies. no. Mm -mm. No? No, I, at this time at school I didn't watch uh, it because I have a lot of homework uh, mm -hmm. by uh, private teacher. So it was enough for me. <laughs> so I had to uh, do many uh, a huge amount of exercises on grammar it is what it was uh, very hard <laughs> mm -hmm. so i i even don't want to pay attention in, in, on english more than <laughs> i do did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh what was in your university what happened in university when you mm -hmm. get there yeah Mm, my university, uh, it was not a university for mm, learning mm -hmm. languages, it mm -hmm. was financial university, so we didn't pay much attention to English, uh, so... Um, but how about your interest, like, w w did you develop your interest to English at that time or later, or...? No, it happened uh, later. Later. Mm -hmm. Yes, it happened in 2020 only, mm -hmm. so in... Uh, uh, in my university, uh, I studied English. I, I, I just didn't st study <laughs> study uh -huh. English. You just passed the exams. Yeah, and yeah, didn't bec care. yeah. Uh -huh. Because my level uh, was uh, higher than others, so I just uh, come came uh, to um, exam, and uh, we needed to, to write uh, essay. Uh -huh. So I just write uh, wrote it and passed it. Uh -huh. It was very easy for me. Yeah, and by, uh, my real interest in English started in 2020. Okay, tell, yeah. tell, tell us more about <laughs> it. Yeah. what happened. Uh, yeah, so uh, how it happened. Uh, in 2020, I uh, needed to, um, to have a job interview with the foreigners, so I uh, prepared for it, uh, and uh, in this, at this time, I understood that the level of my English in my brain, yes, in my mind, in my thoughts, are different from the level uh, which I can mm, demonstrate, yes, uh, how I can speak. Mm -hmm. I understood this, uh, yes, but uh, um, I don't know why uh, e I didn't think uh, about uh, English speaking club. I, I didn't know about uh, it. Uh, so uh, I was uh, thinking about uh, also German. So I in 2020, I also started uh, um, learning German. And uh, uh, at the same time, uh, I uh, found a guy who also wanted to study German. So we, uh, uh, we wanted to study it together, but then he refused. And uh, in response, he uh, sent me a link to English speaking community, uh, English speaking club, Crazy Fish. Uh, and I thought, why not? Uh, it is a very good uh, idea. And I came <laughs> to English speaking cl club. And uh, I in this time, uh, my interest uh, increased. How much? Uh, <laughs> very much. <laughs> very much. <laughs> yes. Mm, because it is not only speaking club, yes. For me, it is more. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, about studying. It's about learning. Because uh, we discuss uh, uh, something. Uh, then uh, I came home and I see on VK uh, some information, some videos, some articles from you. And I start uh, watching it, I start mm. thinking it, uh, then I can Google something for myself. Yes, and uh, that's cool. Can you tell me, like, what are your favorite topics from our discussions? Favorite? Uh, intuition was very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was not only interesting, but the atmosphere I 
um, I like the atmosphere of uh, this meeting because um, it was very friendly and it was very easy to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, no borders, no sh shame. <laughs> uh, now you are managing our Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah, can you <laughs> can you talk uh, about it a little bit more? Like, what are you doing? What motivates you to do that? Uh, how do you feel? Does it help you to improve your language? Yeah, uh, I want to start with the beginning. Why mm -hmm. I <laughs> m uh, started uh, managing it? Um, I started it uh, when uh, uh, you uh <laughs> when you uh, said about uh, uh, said us uh, the idea of English speaking community. Mm -hmm. So I uh, uh, liked this idea very much, and I wanted to help mm -hmm. uh, to contribute to develop this. Yes, to be community. a part of mm -hmm. it, uh, uh, and uh, I um, suggested uh, to manage this account. Uh, and now I'm very busy with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it will take not much time, but it really takes much of my time. How much? How much does it take? I didn't count it, uh, but approximately. but uh, I I'm See? constantly thinking about what I can uh, post, what I can write about, what about I can write. Do you think about it in English or in Russian? Sometimes in English, sometimes in Russian. It depends on the situation mm -hmm. and what uh, content I, I uh, see. For mm -hmm. example, if I see some something in Russian in internet, for example, but I understand that it is also very interesting, mm -hmm. and I can just uh, to translate it in English. Uh, for example, it was uh, uh, with uh, memory. Memory. Yeah. Yes, I see a lecture about memory. I saw uh, a lecture about memory, and uh, uh, I just. Uh, Make made uh, an article uh, uh, by translation. Yes, I, I translated it by myself. Uh, of course, I uh, did it by myself. Uh, so I do not co copy past. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yes. Um, so you mm? took kind of main ideas from yes. this article and just uh, rewrite them, rewrote yeah. them in, in in English. Yeah, I rewrote it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so. Mm, what about my Instagram uh, account? Our Instagram account. <laughs> uh, it is uh, the way I'm learning because uh, I'm not perfect in English. Yes, I'm not a teacher. Yes, I uh, d didn't uh, uh, consume uh, some formal education, some of uh, English teachers uh, mm -hmm. uh, received. Uh, and uh, when I'm thinking about uh, uh, content, um, I uh, search it. I'm searching it, and uh, uh, at the same time, I I'm studying. So uh, for me, it's the it's my motivation for studying it, uh, for studying English. Mm -hmm. uh, do you spend a lot of time watching something on YouTube or on the internet now? Like, what kind of content do you consume? In English, of course. Uh -huh. uh, usually, mm, I uh, do not have some special channels, uh, but uh, I uh, like um, to listen podcasts. Mm -hmm. uh, some English podcasts. Have you listened to all our podcasts? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's great. Yeah, I guess you're the first person. <laughs> like you're actually uh, writing comments almost to all podcasts. I've noticed. Yeah, it's like almost nobody do that still. I think uh, mm, I, I do it because uh, I think it is important. For me, mm -hmm. it's a great idea, uh, this English podcast and the community and the club. So I do it because I want to share it with other, my friends, my uh, colleagues and uh, other people. Mm -hmm. That's why I do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. about, um, about content. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, as I said, I listen English podcasts. Also, I uh, read books uh, in English. Uh, what did you read the last time? Uh, last time I read uh, uh, three. Ah, uh, uh, Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer. It was. Yeah. Really <laughs> it, it was Schopenhauer. <laughs> yeah. let, let's come back to Schopenhauer and talk about it a little bit more. Uh, like you said, this article, uh, thinking for oneself. But what were the other two? Do you remember their titles? Uh, Metaphysics. 
metaphysic of love metaphysics and of love, uh, yeah. emptiness, emptiness of existence. Emptiness of existence. Uh, do you remember some ideas from these articles or just vague? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember the main ideas. Uh, so thinking for oneself. Uh, so if you read something, uh, uh, you need to understand that uh, you mm, do not, uh, you shouldn't uh receive uh, the idea of or author uh, as your own you should uh, um uh, think about it you should uh, read maybe some other uh, works uh, some other information and then um you uh, will understand what is your own ideas uh and uh, yeah so I, I agree. don't c confuse your ideas with the ideas of the author yeah. I don't say oh, I, I'm read now. I know because I read it. Mm -hmm. So for if you if you want to know, you need to like, rebuild it in your own in your own way with your own words, right? It's like when you listen to somebody or when you read a book, you may think, oh, I know the book, I understand everything. But then if I ask you, like, can you tell me something about this book? You can tell the same. You use your own words, right? And yeah. you describe it in your own like way. But some people just read and they d don't even think about it afterwards. Mm -hmm or when you watch some lectures or any content on YouTube. So you like understanding means that you not only receive the information, but you process it and then you may, you know, re rebuild it in your own, your own way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the I second agree. essay, Metaphysics of Love. Um, yeah, I uh, was uh, shocked maybe. Shocked. <laughs> yes, I was surprised when I uh, uh, was reading it because the main point was uh, people uh, get in love uh, because it's the will of their child. Mm -hmm. So it is <laughs> it's incredible for me because I, uh, earlier I uh, thought that it, it's, it is rational. Mm -hmm. I uh, choose uh, by my brain <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, with the metaphysics of love, I, I um, do not completely uh, agree with the all uh, statements. Sometimes um, I disagree with uh, some details. Uh, uh, for example, he uh, said uh, that uh, their brain, their uh, skills, uh, the intellectual skills uh, we uh, have uh, from our mother, uh, the body, the body from our others uh, it's uh, it's nonsense yeah. i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he lived uh, many yeah, years like ago 200 years ago right yeah. there the science wasn't developed that time yeah so the way it is developed now people yeah. had lots of strange ideas but with some ideas i agree for example um it was written that uh usually um girls women uh uh, pay attention to those uh, men who are very uh, who look uh, like a uh, man <laughs> a real man uh, and it is not necessary for men to be uh, beautiful handsome mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i agree with it yes mm -hmm. so uh and the third essay i um read it was emptiness of emptiness existence, of existence. existence? Like, what yeah. is that <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the main point is we uh, are always striving. We cannot reach mm -hmm. the, um, the goal, the, our, our goal. So we need uh, more and more and more and it's uh, permanent process. Yes, uh, and uh, that's why we do not have uh, uh, the purpose of life. <laughs> there is no purpose of life. Um, and I agree with it. So you think there is no purpose of life? But still, you have some kind of purpose always. So if I ask you, for example, what are you doing? Uh, you, you must say, I'm doing this. And if I ask you why, you always have your whys, right? And this whys is kind of... Maybe you're pro even if it's just stupid, because I because I want to, because I have some pleasure or, you know, it's like to say there's no purpose seems like you may say that, but you behave as if there was a purpose. Mm -hmm. you know, if, if there's no purpose, you won't, wouldn't do anything. 
you just you know, sit and die immediately. <laughs> yes, like that's the problem. <laughs> in one moment. So you may think that there is no purpose, but still your body wants something. It's motivated by certain desires to achieve certain results. Mm, yeah, but uh, when you uh, achieved it, yeah, it, you it seems you, f- you feel and what what and what you you did you don't feel s- that you are satisfied. Mm-hmm. So uh, last time we discussed uh, this uh, movie Soul with Satya, mm-hmm. and yesterday I watched this th- it's the movie, it's cartoon, mm-hmm. and the c- this the topic is uh, kind of the same. So the uh, man dreamed to become kind of jazz player to play in a band in mm-hmm. a music band and he wanted it more than everything else and before like he actually achieved this goal but he like he was invited to play and uh, in the same day he decided oh now I, I, I achieved my goal and he died and get in the in some you know in, par- in paradise and after that he wants to get back because his dream was about to come true and he wanted to live it and he he's unsatisfied that like it he think it's very unjust it's unjust that uh, he died a day before he achieved his dream and somehow he get back and he achieves his dream he plays in the band and he stays and wow i thought i'll feel kind of different but it does i don't feel anything as mm-hmm. if like yeah i played and what and <laughs> it's just the usual experience Nice. And he was very disappointed, but yeah, it's like I'm spoiling it a little bit, but you know. Ah, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to see it, uh, to watch it, <laughs> but now. <laughs> yeah, it's well, I'm I pretty uh, roughly describe it, so it's worth uh, watch it by yourself. You still will figure figure out something for yourself. Mm. So okay, uh, meaning uh, meaning of life, uh, Schopenhauer. Let's uh, get back on Earth. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about Instagram a little bit more. Like, what motivates you to run this uh, Instagram account, and uh, what kind of feelings uh, do you have from it? What do you f- like do you experience? What what kind of experience do you like it? How it makes you feel? Mm, uh, first of all. Um, my motivation is the idea of English speaking community uh, so maybe it uh, will be a place where everybody can uh, uh, come and uh, speak in English to study in English it can, should be a very um, oh, how to say it should be uh, free for everyone uh, so it's a great idea uh, I think uh, and uh, mm, what about the second question? Uh, my feelings, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes uh, I feel uh, not good, <laughs> not well. <laughs> mm, because sometimes I mm, pu- put a huge amount of uh, my efforts uh, for some articles and there is n- no response. Uh, there is no no reaction. Uh, no reaction yes no comments no likes and i feel frustrated i feel sad um uh, sadness does it happen often or just uh well 50 50 sometimes you have yeah sometimes positive feedback yes. sometimes people just uh, ignore don't care yeah uh, sometimes uh, people uh, respond mm-hmm. and i f- even if it uh, is uh, one response from one person i feel uh, very we- well mm-hmm. <laughs> i f- feel uh, satisfaction uh, so uh, that means that uh, i uh, do something useful mm-hmm. really for, useful for, for, for not only for yourself but for people yes right? mm-hmm. this is uh, the main uh, my motivation mm-hmm. so to do something useful for people it's not only for me it's for yeah, but you still us. growing like uh, what do you think like if you run this account for a year how different uh, your language is going to be if we have the same conversation in 2021 and we'll probably have it like a year it's nothing mm-hmm. do you think you're speaking english much better uh, and your motivation is going to be way stronger yeah. or it's going to be the same I think I think my level uh, will be better, mm-hmm. uh, of course, because when I uh, manage Instagram, I usually uh, think in English, mm-hmm. uh, and it's uh, it's good for my English, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, what about motivation? 
I don't know about I don't know or what uh, it would be with my motivation. I, I I'm not ready to answer. Okay. It. Uh what do you think about the growth of our community? Like what's your prediction for the future? How how many years it's going to take to attract let's say well 100 participants? Real participants? Yeah, real who come to club uh, every week le- regularly. Hmm. And of course at that time we'll have like five ten how many clubs it's necessary to have yeah i think if uh, it uh, uh, would be one uh, thousand people no one hundred let's ah, start 100. 100. Ah, yeah. sorry one thousand is two one hundred uh yes i think one hundred is is possible mm-hmm. uh maybe it uh, can take for about one f- or two years mm-hmm. I think uh, if uh, we uh, would uh, work, work harder, hard. <laughs> <laughs> hard. <laughs> yes, sure. um, but because I, now I see uh, mm, the results of Instagram, some people uh, mm-hmm. came because of uh, it, uh, it's cool, and uh, if it uh, uh, will be working uh, for the further, it uh, can be so uh, that uh, 100 people can come to our club but we should uh, of course divide it is into some uh, other clubs so mm-hmm. not m- it is not impossible just w- once a week but uh, yes. ma- many different events yeah now we have two events and in the future in a few months i plan to make a new i i want to read a course of lectures my own re- lectures now i'm preparing them mm-hmm. and i also want to open a club for beginners so the lecture the course of lectures is called like english from scratch like English from zero, and I, I also gonna open a club for those people who come to these lectures. I guess lectures are gonna be in Innovation Cultural Center, but the club is gonna be on Moskovsk, or maybe we have a different place uh, in Amra. We'll make a new club there, and it's gonna be like not like our clubs. It's more be focused on studying, since people who will come here they w- probably will not be able to even speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, some simple, you know. There's lectures, I explain, I give some techniques and then we communicate and learn how to use these techniques together. Mm, I think that's a great idea mm-hmm. uh, about uh, beginners, yes, for a special club, club for beginners, because mm-hmm. usually um, we have uh, uh, many beginners who are very shy to participate in our speaking club, because they s- say, oh, we c- uh, c- cannot uh, say something, we are shy and you s- are so cool, <laughs> and uh, uh, we can uh, make... Uh, special as you say special yeah, like club comfortable yeah conditions comfortable for them Comf- yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you also was shy in school when you spoke english like yeah. how did you overcome this feeling shyness i didn't overcome it so <laughs> <laughs> are you still shy <laughs> i'm still shy <laughs> yeah well i guess shy people won't be uh, won't have courage to come to the english podcast and speak yeah, knowing but that everybody may watch it then you know some trolls are gonna watch it and write <laughs> some some comments like ah you make mistakes every time you say ah all the time the uh, pronunciation is bad yeah you shouldn't make english podcast you shouldn't speak you must learn go and listen to <laughs> somebody yeah but uh, i s- i'm always uh, uh trying to overcome myself mm-hmm. <laughs> so um uh, yes Yes, I speak with mistake, but um, I think it's normal. F- uh, the um, main point is progress. Yes, mm-hmm. not perfection, and it's okay. <laughs> process also. Process. Yeah, just you, know, you you learn by m- by making mistakes. You learn basically. Yeah. If you want to be perfect from the beginning, you probably won't be able to speak at all. You will think, I know English, but yeah. you don't speak. Yeah. As soon as you start speaking, you see your mistakes, and it helps you to grow. It's not, you know, one of the myths we have uh, about studying English at school, that if you remember something incorrectly, you'll use it all the time incorrectly, and you'll never be able to change it. Mm-hmm. And many people they are kind of taught from the beginning to use perfect grammar, and if they can't do that, they lose their motivation in studying. Mm-hmm. After doing 5, 10, 15, 20 mistakes, they see it's impossible to speak perfectly and they say, oh, 
I'm just incapable, for, incapable of studying it. But when we compare it with the Russian language, we see that uh, in the Russian language, we also do mistakes all the time. Mm -hmm. Nobody corrects them. Yeah, I, I hate uh, this, uh, uh, mm, this uh, stuff. Um, I completely disagree with it, uh, that if you uh, are not perfect uh, in uh, English, you uh, mm. shouldn't uh, speak. It's nonsense, because mm. now, for example, I'm uh, learning German, and uh, sometimes my private teacher, uh, so I uh, started to speak in, in German, for example, and he interrupted me, and mm. he interrupted me in the middle of the uh, sentence. I forgot what I uh, wanted to say. It's, uh, it's not a good idea, and uh, I hate uh, it when I try to speak. Um, somebody interrupted. It's not a good idea. Uh, in this way, you will never uh, learn. Uh, you just will be frustrated by other people, uh, so you should not uh, mm, uh, pay attention for these people who said uh, uh, these things w which you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, you should try, you should speak, practice, use it in your daily life, uh, and uh, you will see the progress and you will be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think uh, that for you it's possible to reach the level like a native speaker, to speak like a native speaker with no mistakes. And if it is, like when, how much time it's going to take? Mm -hmm. well, let's see. Well, let's suppose that you uh, practice in English as you have been practicing for the last half a year since you started visiting the speaking club. Mm -hmm. And you're also working on Instagram, studying, thinking how many years to get uh, close to a native speaker. I think one year. One year. Yeah, one year is, well, uh, is that's not. That's a bold prediction. <laughs> why? Why? Oh, well, one year is well. I think it's kind of you know naive. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe ten years. It's a good prediction. Yeah. Like, to get closer. Like I'm speaking for three and a half years and thinking English all the time for three and a half years, and I'm far from achieving the, you no, know, the native speaker level. I think I'm far. I mean, I my standards are. Like I'm, if we uh, scale it from zero to one, uh, where I am right now, I am somewhere at four. So I know how to get to the ten, mm -hmm. but I, all I need is just more time. Maybe mm -hmm. ten, fifteen years, I'll be able to speak as I want to speak. <laughs> Let's say one year. One year is like it's. Uh, one year is enough to speak like a child, <laughs> English child. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but an ed English child is also a native speaker. <laughs> yeah, but uh, my uh, intuition is, is like when if you speak all the time for the whole year, mm -hmm. if you f completely focus on studying, if you don't do anything else, if you don't have family, if you don't have work, 100%, mm -hmm. it's not enough to learn to speak like a native speaker one year. So you need at least like five, ten years. But it's, it's my intuition, that's what I think. Maybe you'll next year come <laughs> here and say, look, <laughs> I pr proved you wrong. I'll, I'm a native English speaker. Yeah, may maybe, I, I hope. <laughs> diplomas or whatever <laughs> from greatest universities. Okay, let's uh, continue talking about uh, education. Like, what do you think about our system of education? You studied English at school for like six years mm -hmm. almost. What do you think about it? Um... I think that formal formal education I it uh, should be it can be I'm not against it but it um, it is built uh, usually only for uh, for example for passing exams mm -hmm. so we, yes we need uh, teachers we need this education for our exams because we need it in school we need we need it in the uh, institute uh, we need it when we uh, want to uh, go abroad yes to live yes to move uh, um, in another country yes we need it but if we want to study english by uh, our ourselves uh, i think that uh, formal education is not what we need really um, i think th in this case we should uh, uh, adopt, adopt, uh, adopt, yeah. Yeah, adopt uh, adjust, uh, uh, just uh, uh, studying English um, 
to our interests. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in this case, it will be uh, less painful and more uh, funny, more interesting for us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yes. For example, English speaking club. <laughs> yes, I I like it. It uh, suits uh, my interests, mm -hmm. and um, I uh, don't want to pay uh, much my attention to grammar rules. Uh, this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't study grammar at all, or you have some exercises. You still study grammar. No, now you just study stu stu it in a natural way by watching, reading, reading things and practicing. Yes, n mm -hmm. now I uh, don't uh, do not do uh, don't do exercises uh, mm -hmm. on grammar. I uh, but maybe five mm -hmm. minutes a day is a good idea. Five minutes. M maybe find the book and just one one structure. You know, master it for a week. Then next structure, master it for a week. I've heard that it's like it even slows you down when you study grammar. If you can speak now, for example, you may speak confidently, uh, like quite well. I mean, you make mistakes, but you still, I understand you perfectly well, everything what you say. You understand me. But as soon as you start studying grammar, it makes you think more while you're speaking. You start worrying more about your mistakes. Mm -hmm. And it creates some kind of disturbance and makes you even slow. But uh, in the long run, of course, it's beneficial because if you will learn how to apply all these structures, mm -hmm. yeah, later you'll just naturally learn to speak with perfect grammar. Uh, uh I had uh, studied grammar, uh, I think almost uh, mm, all main grammar rules in uh, school uh, with my private teacher and then uh, one year ago I also had two courses, uh, uh, B1 and B2, it's intermediate and upper intermediate mm -hmm. with also a teacher and uh, we so we paid much attention for grammar so that's why i <laughs> don't uh, want now to uh -huh. study grammar but because I, usually i know these ru rules but when i speak maybe i do mistakes because i do not have much practice maybe yeah but exactly this like the idea so in school they first uh, teach you grammar but you don't have any practice and then when you start practicing you see that your grammar is like it's kind of useless but uh, in your point is kind of uh, otherwise so you speak right and you uh, don't study grammar you completely focused on practice now mm -hmm. but if you just uh, take probably little lessons in grammar like every day for because in school let's say 10 hours of st or an hour of studying grammar and zero practice now uh, what hour of practice and zero grammar mm, but mm -hmm. what if you take five minute grammar and 55 minutes of practice let's yeah, say it's a great so idea yeah, it, it may it may it may really help because in school you don't have time to practice it but now you have already you already have this you know, weekly meetings you practice english speaking with people every week right and if you just study one rule and you may you may have much more opportunities to apply this rule just you know practice it yeah. yeah in instagram i subscribed on uh, some channels uh, uh, for english yes, for so for studying english and mm -hmm. they usually post uh, uh, some uh, grammar rules some expressions uh, and uh, usually yes uh, of course i uh, uh, read it i mm -hmm. w watch look, it look it up yeah yeah so uh, can you tell me about your strategies on instagram like do you have some strategies how to manage it how to <laughs> improve it no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So you no. do it all intuitively? Yes, I do it intu intuitively. No, sometimes I, h for example, um, mm, while a day, I uh, have an idea mm -hmm. of what I can mm, post. And I can, uh, while this week, I can write article like, uh, and uh, post it, for example, in uh, one week or even in two weeks when, mm -hmm. it, uh, mm -hmm. when it is finished. So uh, in this uh, uh, site, yes, I have strategy, some, some strategy, but it's not strategy, it's uh, a content plan, uh, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, yes. uh, just different name. <laughs> yes, so sometimes, I, as I said, I, for example, I am mm, watching something or I am reading something in internet and uh, I understand that, oh, it's use useful for my Instagram account and I can uh, um, 
make a note. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but no, I have no strategy. <laughs> uh, tell us, how did you manage to get uh, 250 subscribers in a month? Uh, it was not very difficult. <laughs> it is not a, a secret. Um, I first of all, mm, I um, uh, I wrote uh, many information about our. Mm, so I, I edit uh, information in our Instagram account. So we have uh, lean. No, we you have filled it with the content. Yes, right. I filled it with the content. Uh, then I started uh, to mm, search for people for accounts who are also interested in the, uh, English. So I found, for example, some account for uh, about English, and uh, uh, I uh, opened uh, the list of subscribers and uh, started to subscribe uh, mm -hmm. uh, to these people. To these mm -hmm. people, yeah. And they uh, started to uh, subscribe back. Yes, to mm -hmm. subscribe back. Uh, um, yes, I also try to um, be active in my Instagram account. So I not only um, mm, post something. Yes, uh, I also uh, try to comment something. Yes, try to watch something to like uh, somebody. Inter you interact with other yeah i try to interact yes with so other members of uh, i want uh, uh the i want uh, everybody know uh that uh it's not bought <laughs> mm -hmm. our our uh, our account is not bought uh -huh. uh, this account uh, is managed by real people by me by you mm -hmm. and oh i do very little job yeah, i just <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, it's normal to write comments to res to respond yes uh, so uh, for me it uh, it is important to have some what uh, feedback what's your prediction uh in terms of you know the members uh, the subscribers of our instagram in 2021 how many uh, subscribers are we going to reach at the end of this year? Mm, I hope uh, it uh, will be around uh, 100. Uh, oh, wait, oh, no, no, 1,000. 1,000. 100,000. Yeah, 1,000, so <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I think uh, it's a very good uh. number if it is uh, uh, not uh, b b uh, business accounts uh -huh. because uh, there are much of these business accounts who is not real yeah who pay, who, who pay money who uh, yeah uh, recently i watched a video on youtube channel mind value mind valley uh guys were talking about facebook how to get facebook f in the ma a guy got uh, one million subscribers to his facebook page in a month how is it possible? Well, they were talking about it. I'm going to send you a link. Okay. <laughs> but let's say it's business accounts, as it's you said. So they subscribe to different uh, accounts. They it's like interacted with different people, different Facebook accounts. It's not just, you know, you invite people. You first you need to create certain content, which mm -hmm. going to attract attention. And then you just, uh, like you collaborate with other, you know, influ they call themselves influencers. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like you collaborate with them, you subscribe to their channel, they post links about your channel and, mm -hmm. and some uh, advertisement. Yeah. And they're like, on one side, they're kind of good people. I was listening to them and, but my reaction was kind of negative because I was like thinking, man, they think all the time about these numbers, like all what's <laughs> going on in their head is just billions, millions. Uh, <laughs> likes <laughs> <laughs> comments whatever <laughs> yeah. all right a uh, few more questions uh, first is kind of silly question what is the most stupidest thing you have heard about english mm, stupidest yeah. i can't say that it's stupidest but uh, we uh, have already mentioned it uh, I disagree with it. Uh, people mm, usually think that if uh, they cannot uh, say uh, something um, correctly, mm -hmm. uh, you should not speak at all. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. Uh, e if you uh, do not try 
you will never learn mm -hmm. and uh, you should practice you should use and make mistakes it's okay so it's okay to make mistakes yes sometimes yeah and uh, maybe um, one other I uh, think uh, it's about grammar. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not against grammar. It's cool and uh, you should learn it, but mm, you should uh, improve uh, uh, your skills like grammar, uh, listening, writing, uh, thinking in uh, uh, equal uh, level, in equal with equal uh, efforts. Mm -hmm. in, in equal proportion. Yes, in say. equal proportion, yeah. Do you uh, work on all these skills in equal proportion? Uh, now? Yeah. Now, no. Well. But uh, now, uh, as I said, I am learning uh, German. Mm -hmm. And uh, in German, yes, I uh, learn it uh, in, d in equal proportion. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I learn grammar, I am listening, I am going to German speaking club. And uh, I in where let's make an ad advertisement. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Nibo. Uh, Who runs the club? Uh, uh, Alessia. Mm -hmm. Alessia runs the club. Uh, we speak uh, German, and it's uh, quite friendly and uh, interesting. We have also topic as mm -hmm. in our English speaking club. Yeah. So if you know. German, come to us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Do not be shy, <laughs> because uh, we have uh, uh, not much uh, mm, people as uh, we have uh, in English speaking cl cl mm -hmm. club. How many people usually? Usually uh, four. Yes, usually around four. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. four, five, maybe. Uh, we c we play games sometimes, so it's it's mm, it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and uh, another question is, what would you advise to those people who just started studying English? Hmm. Who just started? Okay, I. Mm, you may I imagine, would say. You, hmm? may, you may imagine yourself when you was at like uh, in school. <laughs> like, what would you say to yourself when you was in the sixth grade? If you meet yourself right now, um. like this little girl, just imagine her. <laughs> what would you advise to her? I'm not sure about children. <laughs> uh, yes, because children is uh, it's uh, the some special sphere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, that uh, you should uh, mm, you should choose a method which you like. So mm -hmm. it uh, shouldn't be only one method. For example, you should learn grammar only by this uh, uh, book. For example, yes. No, if you do not like this uh, method, yes, if you are tired of uh, making these uh, exercises, you can try to uh, try uh, another method, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can read, you can uh, listen, uh, for example, you can watch films, and it's also a very um, good way for uh, learning English and other languages. So you can uh, switch between mm -hmm. these methods to find something that you really like and yeah. double down on it which suits your interests uh -huh. it's the main idea i think because in the other way you can say that it's boring it's hard and but if you are really uh, tired of english it's normal to, uh, to take a break i think Mm -hmm. It's normal for, uh, for example, for a few days, for a week, but not for a year. year. <laughs> <For> a year. <laughs> uh, no, but not well a year. If you study for 20 years, you may take a break for a year. <laughs> yeah, you study German and Chinese or yeah. any other language. You know, uh, if, you, uh, if you are learning other languages, un other languages, for example, as me, German, uh, it uh, uh, can be useful for English because uh, you understand the structure and uh, this is this some uh, details uh, uh yeah, lots of similar words yeah, lots of in similar German, words in English, yes they kind of one family from one family languages yeah mm -hmm. all right so but when it was a great pleasure to talk to you thank you too much thank you <laughs> for inviting uh, me yeah so guys subscribe to our channel comments likes all this stuff you know what to do See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.